Yo, what's good, Kingdom? It's your boy AJ. I'm here with Rage. So we just coming to you guys. Uh, we got two new reports. So we're gonna read and we're gonna play a Brian Windhorse clip that he was talking about Donovan Mitchell because you know this offseason is gonna be a movie. Um, the first report was from Jerry uh, Jake. Shout out to Jake Weinback, the NBA writer. Uh, he posted the the Nets should be among the most active teams pursuing Donovan Mitchell. If extension talks stall, Cleveland could be enticed by a package built around Brooklyn's Cam Johnson, Cam Thomas, and multiple first round picks. And then uh, we got another report from Kelly Kelly Eco. I hope I said his name right. Kelly Eco from the Athletic. He said that the Rockets will re-engage the Nets before the draft about trading back their picks in favor for of the Suns' future selections. Do you, uh, and then we'll think we'll we'll see we'll see about that because we know back in the I think it was during the trade deadline the Rockets offered our picks back for Mikael Bridges and it was like a Jalen Green swap. But let's first talk about Donovan Mitchell before we get to this Rockets scenario. But um, I guess it intertwines, bro, because there's two parts of it. You know, there's the rebuilding fans, and then there's the Donovan Mitchell fans and the star fans. So. I guess if you're if you're gonna build the perfect trade package for Donovan Mitchell, and this could go so many ways, bro. Like, <laughs> I know people don't want to give up Cam Thomas, but he's gonna. I think he's gonna be in the mix. Cam Johnson's gonna be in the mix. The people saying the multiple first round draft picks. I don't know if you're gonna put more than two or three, but if you're putting CJ and CT, it gets spicy when it comes to the picks, but. What what do you think is gonna be the perfect like if you're uh like I said if you're really gonna trade for Donovan Mitchell, you don't want to lose too much, bro. Like you don't want to lose too much on your team. But what would your like? Just give me a little basis on what your package like. Who do you would rather? Who is untouchable to you on this team? And who is your like? Okay, they can go. So I, I mean, for Donovan Mitchell, mm. uh, I don't think there's a single player that I think would be untouchable mm. in terms of a Donovan Mitchell trade. Yeah. I, I mean, like obviously, like in, in turn, like if you're if you're gonna trade for Donovan Mitchell, Cam Thomas is gone. You yeah. everyone just has to live with that. At least you know, like you just you have to go in. You have to go into that trade with that mindset, yeah. at least because it's like why would that? Why would the Cavs? You got to think they gave away a lot of picks and players to get him. You know, yeah. marking in and stuff. Now he's good, yeah. and then you know on top of that, like three picks, Colin Sexton. Yeah. So it's like you know they they gave they gave a lot to get this guy. Yeah. And it's like I I mean I don't think you'll take anything less than you know like like Cam Thomas, Cam Johnson, and at least two firsts. Yeah, because I see I, a lot I, of. I, 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 was say, I see, I see, like, I see a lot of people. Do. I see a lot of people say on on uh, Nets Twitter like, "Okay, Clowney's off limits. Cam Thomas is off limits." Um, I think that's about those are players I see that's really off limits. I know people like Mikhail is very iffy. People don't really care about Mikhail like that. But uh, you know, if you're getting Donovan but, Mitchell, but if you're trading, yeah, there, if you're trading, so. if you're trading for Donovan Mitchell, Mikhail Bridges isn't isn't going anywhere. Like they, yeah. like obviously, like I said, no one's untouchable. But in a trade package for Donovan Mitchell, Mikhail Bridges is essentially untouchable. Yeah, yeah, and um, you think about Noah Clowney, and you think about Cam Thomas. I think that's probably the two players that Nuts fans do not want to get rid of. Um, Derek Whitehead. I think people would wouldn't mind him going in this package. Jalen Wilson, Wilson, even though Jalen is a, we love Jalen Wilson. I want to keep Jalen Wilson, but he probably would be in the package. Um, those are probably the players I think that mo- like those three: Jalen Wilson, Clowney, and CT are the three players that Nets fans are like, whoa, 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 whoa. You got to keep these guys, you know, everybody else is just like free smoke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So these, the news is going to keep going. The Donovan Mitchell spiral is going to keep going. I know you guys are probably going to be tired of hearing about it, but Hey, as the extension eligible, Donovan Mitchell is going to be extension eligible on June 30th. So we will see the news will start to get heated on June 30th and then he can sign around July 6th. So we know the Cavs are not going to wait. We get to the Rockets. Now, the Rockets, the Rockets, man. It's just like they keep calling. Why do they keep calling Sean? They just don't. <laughs> they just keep calling Sean, bro. They're not they're, done. Yo. They're, they're going to re-engage like, the Nets about trading the picks. Now, we had the report where it said first the when Sean got the call, the Rockets were offered, okay, you want your picks back? Give us your picks. I mean, give us the Suns picks, and we'll give you your picks. So they were just doing this exchange of picks. And I think for us, I think we have uh, three sons unprotected and one swap. And they have, what, two of our unprotected and one swap or one swap or two swaps, something like that. 
Um, so Sean said no. And this is reportedly Sean said no to that deal. Then the Rockets countered and was like, okay, bet Jalen Green, you want to, and this is at this time, Jalen Green's value was low. Cause you remember that time during the deadline, bro, when after Jalen Green didn't get uh, traded, he just went crazy. Cause I remember I bet on Jalen Green uh, one night and I'm like, damn, he's awful. The next seven games, this man's scoring like 20, his, he upped his point per, per, per uh, points per game. And it was like, 25 25 a game and i'm like damn jalen green and now yeah, he's like jalen, jalen green was definitely on one but it's like yeah. I, I think ultimately in like a scenario like this it's like you either yeah like you either go one of two ways like yeah you either go this donovan mitchell route or you go this route yeah. i think with the nets i i i i think that the i i don't think like the, i don't think with the rockets i don't think we do it if if you're ultimately trying to get donovan mitchell yeah it makes no sense it makes no sense and we know that it's like okay, we might like with Cam Thomas, like we have we have solid players to like start a rebuild with. We know that, and we have picks too. Yeah. And with the Rockets trade, that essentially just helps us for a rebuild. That sets us up perfectly. But the thing is, is that Sean Marks doesn't do that. We haven't yeah. seen that yet, and it's clear that we're in the market for a star. So I think we're gonna go that Donovan Mitchell route. And yeah. at that point, you keep those picks, you use those picks in a Donovan Mitchell trade. Hopefully, not all. You know, not all of them. You still mm-hmm. have you still have your later picks. You know that 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 could be valuable. Yeah. You know there there there's still there's still a bunch of other picks that are you know like especially in the later years that are uncertain. Yeah. You know, and any first round pick will give you will give you value. On top of that, you have Cam Thomas, you have Cam Johnson, you have a bunch of players who can play now, and then on top of that, you have Clowney, you have these young players, Jalen Wilson, you know, Derek Whitehead, if you want. Yeah. And it's like this. These picks are so. The picks we controlling our own destiny because I see the a lot of people that's Twitter fighting over. Oh, what's more valuable, the Nets picks or the Suns picks? Nets picks or Suns picks? And I'm like, to me, our like controlling our destiny is more valuable than the Suns picks because the Suns picks is still undecided. I know people think they're like gold, but we don't know the Suns' direction. I know people are going to say they're in hell. They might be in basketball hell, but they still could be good. You know, 2027, they can pivot somehow and still be good. And those picks are not really as they could be low first. Um, I want to read the shouts of Brooklyn Nets 85. I want to read this little this tweet he posted. He said, if Suns picks for Nets picks is truly on the table, you take that. And then trade McHale to the highest bidder, create a bidding war league wide, then tank hard as hell the next two years, and you'll have an interesting core by late 2026 with a ton of picks. If you're passing on the above, you better create a contender. That's actually a really interesting point. I'm I was thinking about that too. I'm like, those that is really the two directions you can go. Because you trade if if Sean wanted to do the other route and rebuild, he could have traded Mikhail to the highest bidder and get that four first. And then yeah, he um, could he could have already yeah. done it. He if I don't know, I just think that it's like I, I feel like I feel like Sean Marks would already did it at the trade. He would have did it, right? He would have did it. That's what I'm trying to think. Like he's in the market for a star because he could have made this move. I know the draft is coming up. The Rockets are gonna re-engage and they got the third, was it the third pick? We got the third pick, right? They're gonna try to oh, you want the third pick, Sean? Give us this and this and this. But it's like if Sean doesn't get enticed by that, then he's gonna trade for he's gonna have to trade for a star. You look like like Brooklyn said. If you pass on the above, if you passing on all these deals from Mikhail, getting your picks back, all these first rounds, you have to build a contending team. Like that's the only route, you know? Because if you, yeah. it just doesn't make sense to me, like why uh, you stay in this middle ground, you know? It's just because Mikhail's going to be a free agent in 2026. Uh, DFS is going to be out of here 2026. Those guys might be gone. So you only have a certain amount of time. It's getting close. The, t- the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking on this situation. And Sean's going to have to make a decision this summer, bro. This is going to be a huge summer. But um, yeah, yeah. Just more, yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. No, no, just, yeah. to, just to finish off, it's just like, you know, just to kind of like, you know, also come up when I made earlier, like, I, I still think that it's like all Sean March has been talking about is attracting stars to Brooklyn. Yeah. And we know that Donovan Mitchell is from here and would like to come here. Yeah, and we've been seeing that we'd be engaged in a Donovan Mitchell trade. I wholeheartedly think we already, we already, we already turned down the Rockets' offer. Yeah, we kept like talking twice. about <laughs> us wanting yeah. to. We yeah, we we already turned that down. We already we we've been seeing where that we're in the market for a star, and Donovan Mitchell could possibly be there. 
And if he's yeah. there, I, I think I think the Nets just got to jump on it because Sean, I'm not. I'm, I, I think a rebuild is the best thing you could do for the team that we have. I think you should rebuild. Yeah, that's but the safe route. Yeah, Sean Marks doesn't do that. He, we he doesn't do that. Yeah. He doesn't do the net, that. The Nets, as a as a franchise, we don't rebuild. We just don't rebuild as a franchise. Even before Sean was here, that. we didn't rebuild. We never like we were never a rebuild team. We were forced to rebuild back in 2014 and 2015. Paul yeah. Pierce and KG literally retired or joined yeah. another team and yeah. were there for like a year. They yeah. it's not like they did anything here. We were forced into a rebuild. We were awful. We got back up a little bit. And then we were blessed with able, with getting Kevin Durant. Like who's getting Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? Yeah. Like the Nets and, as a and, franchise. And at the time. We just always shoot for the stars. We shot for the KG, Paul Pierce, KD, Kyrie. We shoot for the stars. Harden, That's just us. Harden. Harden. James Harden. You know that, that James Harden. Hey, we're, 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 we're still, we still yeah. look back at that James Harden trade because these picks that the Rockets own are all from that James Harden trade. Yeah. So still. it's like it's a slippery slope because it's like I know Nets fans are like, no, no, keep Cam Thomas. Let's rebuild. Like, it's like I know you guys want to. Um, I mean, you guys want that route, but it's just and it makes sense. It makes, it makes sense. sense. Trust me. If we if Sean did that tomorrow and flipped Mikhail, flipped DFS, flipped CJ for picks and started rebuilding, I would be on board. I would just be like, okay, you got it. But he, you know, what I'm saying he's. It looks like all the precursors, all the interviews, all the messaging, all the Woj tweets. It's him saying, no, no, no. I want a star. I want a number one guy. I'm keeping Mikhail. We're building around Mikhail. You know. So it's like. I'm just it's trying just, to figure. Know. I'm just trying to figure out because it's like, although like, yeah, like it's like, yes, I know the rebuild is the best thing, but mm-hmm. what? And for any Nets fan, for anyone watching, anyone just like anyone in general, tell me what has made anyone think that Sean Marks is like, yeah, let's rebuild when his <laughs> when his ass is on the line right now. If Donovan Mitchell yeah. becomes available, you bet everything on it that Sean Marks is on the phone as fast as possible. He's. Yeah. We know it. He's gonna we be know on the phone. We're, we're, yeah. You know we're monitoring the situation heavily. We heavily. know it. Donovan Mitchell has said he wants to come play in New York. Yeah. And the thing is, is that you and, and if we're if we're in the market for a star, you don't just say that Donovan Mitchell, whatever. We'll just get a different star. You don't just have players that just want to come here. Yeah, you got to take. What if Katie and Kyrie didn't want to come here? Mm, yeah. Where would where would we be at? Where would we be? Yeah. I mean, shoot. Yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Again, just write in the comments how you guys feel about Donovan Mitchell situation. What side are you on? Rebuild. Uh, what do you think Sean's gonna do? Um, we're gonna wait till June 30th, man. June 30th is the day where Donovan could start, you know, negotiating. And if he denies that extension, it's up. It's up for real. Like it could be go anyway. I think the NBA. I think the East is waiting for Donovan. Like it's gonna be like dominoes falling. Like. Oh, Donovan is moving. He's on the move. And everybody else is going to adjust in the East and maybe in the, in, I don't know about the West, but the East. So hit that like button, subscribe. Appreciate you guys so much. Follow us on Instagram. That's Kingdom One. All our Twitters are scrolling at the bottom. Uh, and we're on TikTok. We're on all socials. Appreciate you guys. Uh, and tap in.